I think this is the most important by-election since Roy Jenkins fought the Hillhead over 30 years ago. It's important because obviously for UKIP, you know, from our perspective, we've got momentum going with us. We want to keep it going. This seat is apparently the 271st most winnable for us, so if we can win this, uh, wow, you know, we're, we're in a very different place. It's important for the Conservative Party uh, because I think Mr Cameron knows uh, that if he were to lose this to UKIP, there may well be other backbench MPs who feel next year they might do better under a UKIP ticket. Labour need to win seats in the south of England uh, it, it, you know, to get a majority next year. And the Labour vote in the south is looking very soft. And the point about what this guy has done, and uh, we don't see this in modern politics, is, uh, as a matter of honour and principle, he hasn't just joined UKIP, he's resigned his seat and said, you make the decision. Uh, and, and that really, uh, you can't criticise that. If people don't like what Mr Reckless has done, they haven't got a vote for it. But I think a lot of people will respect him for putting his career on the line. Being overconfident in life is a very stupid place to be in anything you do. Uh, and I know this is going to be a hell of a fight. I know the Prime Minister is going to be here five times and they're going to throw the kitchen sink at it and all of those things. Uh, but I trust, I trust the good common sense of the people who, as I said earlier, I think will respect the fact that this man has risked his career as a matter of principle. And people like bravery.